FreeBSD is an operating system very close to my heart. It's both in the foreground of what I do and in the background of how I play and relax. And it's the basis of my YouTube channel, which you may have noticed. So, in this video, I want to kick off a small series of thank yous and highlight some of the best websites, YouTube channels and people that, to me, are the stars of FreeBSD and who are invaluable to the FreeBSD world. So, what is the FreeBSD Foundation? Firstly, it's not the FreeBSD project. Think of it more as a supporter, a promoter, and a representative of the FreeBSD project. Looking on the FreeBSD Foundation website, you will see the latest blog, news items, regarding fundraising goals, development progress updates, and other FreeBSD news that directly impacts the FreeBSD community. You will also find news of upcoming events, workshops, and conferences, which are FreeBSD focused or feature FreeBSD in some capacity around the world. And these are returning after a couple of years of being online only. One of the key areas where the FreeBSD Foundation is involved in a more direct way in the development of FreeBSD, but it doesn't determine the path of the FreeBSD project, is in funding the development of improvements and features often required to keep the OS as secure and stable as we've come to expect. Full-time programmers aren't cheap, and whilst FreeBSD has an entire army of open source programmers that contribute to the project, sometimes you need to have one programmer, or maybe two, dedicated to a task that, well, to be frank, requires a determination, time, or skill set that only comes with a price. And I'm not denigrating any of the contributors uh, when I say that. There are quite a few ongoing projects, and a whole load of already completed ones. The most notable ones currently in the process of being developed are the Wi-Fi updates. Well, they're also the ones that I get asked about the most. Again, the project developments are funded by the FreeBSD Foundation that in turn is funded by the donations from the users and community around FreeBSD. If you have a proposal, then you can submit it to the Foundation for consideration. You never know, you, it may get picked up. My proposal for an official FreeBSD strawberry-flavoured chocolate bar wasn't. Ooh. Speaking of official sweet things, did you know that there's an official full-colour professionally done magazine for FreeBSD called FreeBSD Journal? No? Well, there is. And it's actually really good. It's PDF-based, which means that you can read it online or download it and read it later at your own leisure. And the articles are extensive and feature some of the people I'll cover in future videos. And it's a must for any FreeBSD user. And lastly on the main page is a small list of the many, many donors to the FreeBSD Foundation. And these ones here are the big ones. Having a look at the menu for the website, you will see a list of the work the foundation carries out, information about the FreeBSD project, how to get involved, and an about section. We have the events, where as we saw earlier, you will see any events listed that are sponsored or featured the FreeBSD Foundation or FreeBSD itself. Next, we have the projects, then grants, where if you have an idea, you may be able to get a grant to fund your idea. If you don't submit it, you won't know, will you? So give it a go. Then we get into the heady world of research, where many academic miracles are devised and carried out in the wider world, many of which are sponsored by the Foundation and carried out on FreeBSD. Sticking with the theme of education, there is also the education and advocacy section of the work the FreeBSD Foundation carries out. And this is to me an important area. From market to attending conferences, the work that goes on in the background is mind blowing. And some of that is available for here for you to download and print. So you too can spread the word. But that word would be no good if there wasn't the technical resources there to host the project. So as you can see, there is Serious financial expenditure at play here, $65,000 is not a trivial amount, and it all helps the FreeBSD project. I mean, all the goodwill in the world amounts to nothing if you can't develop or host the world's best OS, and that requires hardware, which you can donate if you have a spare supercomputer. The latest updates tab will give you just that. It will give you the latest updates from the Foundation's newsletter and blog. Again, we have the FreeBSD journal, which is excellent. Then lastly on this menu is the newsletter, which also carries many of the news items, but in their own section, just in case you don't want the blog entries. But why wouldn't you? 
Returning to the top, we'll cross over, not to the other side, but to the FreeBSD project column, and straight into the question, what is FreeBSD? Seems like a silly question to those who know, but if you don't know, then it's a pretty big question, and there's a good explanation. So once you know what FreeBSD is, you might want to try it out. And the next item in the menu is the Get FreeBSD section, where you will be taken to the FreeBSD front page, where you will see a big yellow button in the center top asking, no, telling you to download FreeBSD. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Well, it could, but that would require someone popping around to where you live and installing FreeBSD for you. No, there's an idea. A FreeBSD concierge of sorts. I'll submit that idea right away. Next up are the FreeBSD resources. There are some great written and video tutorials here. Some quick guides and projects for you to try. And now comes the community resources where the greatest and the most in-depth help the world has ever seen can be found for FreeBSD. The sheer brilliance and dazzling wit, not to mention the repartee, is simply unmatched. Who is this eighth wonder? Well, it's Sam Sheridan at Sheridan Computers. And really, he does know a thing or two about computers. He's a super smart guy. He runs a great IT company. And he also dabbles in FreeBSD too. So a win all round, really. Next in line are some testimonials from some companies and organizations you may have heard of such as a little media company called um, Netflix, and a communicatory doodah from Microsoft, and Apache, and Juniper. A little more in-depth reading can be found in the case studies of the said Netflix, as well as Mellanox. It's very interesting reading indeed. The next part of Everything FreeBSD, now that's a catchy slogan, is where you can see all, or at least most of the video webinars, that take place in the various national international events hosted that feature some aspect of FreeBSD or the FreeBSD Foundation. Just to note that as the world opens up again, the number of events and videos will increase. As you can see, the number is low in 2021, slightly higher the year before in 2020, and increasingly larger the further you go before the pandemic through a spanner in the works. And I anticipate that that will also happen uh, in 2022 going forward. The videos are great, and again, you have some of the most smartest people giving their knowledge, with a certain Mr. Jude being almost omnipresent, or uh, Mr. ZFS, as I like to call him. Next menu is how to get involved, and you can attend an event if you are lucky. Uh, you can propose a project, uh, the FreeBSD chocolate bar, I'm, I'm calling it now a Super Smash for 2023 Christmas gift. You can apply for a grant, and there is a guide on how to use the logo, which we'll have a look at that later and how to volunteer. Finally, there is a About Us menu, which, as we saw earlier, gives us a quick rundown of what the FreeBSD Foundation is and what we can expect from it. It's a great little guide and it's easy to get up speed. Next is the team behind the foundation and a great opportunity to meet the men and women behind the scenes. Deb Goodkin will be familiar as uh, she has become almost the face of both the FreeBSD Foundation and also the FreeBSD OS itself as she has tirelessly travelled from conference to conference, both physically and online, to give some wonderful speeches to highlight the benefits of the FreeBSD OS and FreeBSD Foundation. Next is the Board of Directors. Imagine it as an elite club of some of the big brains in the FreeBSD world. When... We then go to the open positions page. The chances are they won't be any as they get snapped up pretty quickly. But they do pop up, so keep an eye open for the vacancies. What better job would there be to be working for the foundation? None. That's the correct answer. And finally, there is the contacts page. So if you have any questions, suggestions, or a mourn, because you know there's always at least one in the crowd, then you can do that there, and some will, will get back to you. Okay, here is the logo section that was promised earlier. And I think it's a great idea. It removes any doubt as to the legal status of the FreeBSD Foundation logo and the FreeBSD logo itself, the orb, and gives you a guide as to when and how it can be used. From the font to the color, from the position to the typography, 
The details are listed here, and it's a good thing to know, even if you don't think that you need the guidance. But it may come in handy later, and it certainly did for me. Anyway, the scope of the work the FreeBSD Foundation carries out cannot be fully covered in this short video, that's for sure. And without Debs and the rest of the crew's hard work, I think FreeBSD and the community surrounding it will be poorer for it. Long may it continue, and that's why I'm off to make a donation. And if you use FreeBSD in any capacity, and you find it useful, then consider making a small donation as well, as it benefits us all in the end. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.